now in previous one we saw that the two dimensional transformations now coming to the three dimensional transformation as we already know the two dimensional deals with the x and y and the homogeneous coordinate system that is x y 1 now here the three dimensional transformations is correlated with again x y z 1 that is homogeneous coordinate system so come to the three dimensional transformations when the transformation takes place on 3d plane it is called 3d transformation here you can see the x axis z axis y axis this is transformation is placed in three dimensional plane is called 3d transformation it's very simple now come to the next point the method for object modeling transformation in three dimensionals are extended from from two dimensional methods by including consideration for the z coordinates z coordinates the in as i told you that previous that that is a if 2d is there that is x y 1 and if 3d is there the x y z 1 is this simple as generalize from the come to the next point generalize from 2d by including z axis the coordinate straight forward for translation and scale rotation more difficult the homogeneous coordinates the four components transformation matrix will be four by four element matrix now we will see this example that is a 3d translations here in the previous three dim three in the previous slide we seen that that is a three dimensional transformations now we will go with the particular example that is a 3d translation an object is translated in three dimensional by transforming each of the defining point of the object moving of object is called translation generally we know that the moving of the object is called translation now in 3d we can also move the points in uh, that x y z plane that is 3d plane with respect to the initial coordinates are x y z and that is move along the distance l is the new trust the, the new point will be x dash y dash z dash that will be that point will be moved from in 3d plane from point 1 to point 2 and this can be represented at in 3d uh, can be represented as p of x y z to p dash equals to x dash y dash z now this can be uh, in can be understood by in textures in three dimensional homogeneous coordinate representations a point transform from one position p of x y z to p dash of x y z dash this can be written using uh, p dash equals to the t dot the transformation matrix multiplied by translation matrix multiplied by initial positions initial coordinate system that can be written represented here is as you can see in the yellow matrix formation is nothing but the uh, matrix of uh, translation the modified uh, translation matrix that is nothing but x dash y dash z dash 1 is equals to 1 uh, the translation matrix 1 0 0 tx 0 1 0 ty 0 0 1 tz 0 0 1 multiplied by initial translation points that is x y z 1 this is called translation along x y z translated to x y z dash okay now the matrix representation is equivalent to the three equations x dash equals to x plus t x that is nothing but the modified coordinate of x dash equals to the initial coordinate of x plus the translation of x now same goes for the y 
डैश इक्वल्स टू वाई प्लस टी वाई जेड डैश इक्वल्स टू जेड प्लस टी जेड वेर द पैरामीटर टी एक्स टी वाई टी जेड आर स्पेसिफाइंग द ट्रांसलेशन डिस्टन्स फॉर द कॉर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एक्स वाई जेड आर असाइंड any real value that is the distance as you can see in the picture there is a once uh, kettle is mounted in the origin system that is in 3d origin system that is x y z now that kettle is moved in particular 45 degree direction and that you can see by with the help of the, that green line that is that that kettle is moved from its origin to particular valued distance this is called a this is a, in blue initial origin kettle is x y z and the new coordinate system is x dash y dash z and that green line is nothing but a t x t y t z so this way we can got the 3d translation now come to the next slides point translator object by translating each vertex in the object as is mentioned in this graphs as is mentioned in the picture now come to the next 3d rotations where an object is to be rotated about an axis that is a parallel to one of the coordinate axis we can obtain the desired rotation with the following transformations sequence coordinate axis rotation z axis z axis rotation roll now in the first picture if the person is moving from z direction angle you can see in this picture and suddenly the z axis revolve around itself he can see only the y and x axis will be moving okay so this is what they want to do this is called 3d rotation the rotation only occurs along a single axis in this first picture you can see the rotation along z axis will move the x axis and y axis similarly goes if the rotation move around x axis the y axis and z axis will be rotated similarly goes for the y axis the z axis and x axis will be rotated now come to the next point the coordinate axis rotation z axis rotation roll y axis rotation y a w x axis and rotation pitch six ends okay now 3d z axis rotation z axis rotation is the same as the origin about in 2d for which have the derived matrices already that is x dash equals to x cos theta minus y sin theta y dash equals to x sin theta minus y cos theta is equals to z dash equals to z now this can be in this can be written as matrix of z axis rotation x dash y dash z dash 1 equals to matrix of initial z axis rotation cos theta minus sin theta 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 Zero zero one zero 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 one, and multiplied by initial coordinate system x y z one. It is a z axis rotation. Now three D x axis rotation. Similar, we can write about the x axis rotation. In the picture, as you can see that that the object is move on the x axis. The equation for the x axis rotation is x dash equals to x. y dash equals to y cos theta minus z sin theta z dash equals to y sin theta plus z cos theta this whole things can be written in the matrix formation is as the matrix of the uh, x axis rotation x dash y dash z dash 1 equals to the matrix of 1 0 0 0 cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 uh, x y z 1 this is the 1 0 0 0 cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 is called the rotation matrix this, as you can see that 
the, the initial rotation matrix is multiplied by the initial xy coordinate system with that will give the uh, the 3d axis rotation modified 3d axis rotation coordinate system okay similarly goes for the 3d y axis rotation the equation for that uh, that object or the, the chessboard queen is move along the y direction the equation for x axis rotation is nothing but x dash equals to x cos theta plus z sin theta y dash equals to y z equals to z cos theta minus x sin theta so here the y will be constant so that's why y dash equals to y and other twos are moving with respect to cos theta sin theta the man then the matrix representation will be like this x dash y dash z dash 1 equals to cos theta 0 sin theta 0 0 1 0 0 minus sin theta 0 cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 multiplied by initial coordinates x y z 1 